The coolant temperature sensor is located at the rear of the engine on the right side, red arrow. You will need to remove the air box and a few other components to access it. Make sure that you are working on a cold engine and coolant system. I like to let the vehicle sit overnight. The sensor is mounted high up on the engine but below the high point in the system. Be prepared for a little coolant to spill out when you're doing this job. Make sure to place a tray under the engine to catch any coolant and dispose of it correctly. If you are quick, you will not lose much coolant. This is also a good time to do a coolant flush and fill if you're getting close to that point in the maintenance of the vehicle. Next, use a T10 torque and an extension to remove the screw that holds the vent line to the oil filter housing, red arrow. Squeeze the tabs on the crankcase vent line and pull it off of the ventilation cover on the engine, red arrow. Pull the vent line out from the oil housing, red arrow, and move the line aside. Check the line for cracks and replace as needed. You now have access to the coolant temperature sensor indicated by the red arrow. Release the clip on the wiring connection and separate the connector from the sensor, red arrow. You will need a 22 millimeter crow foot wrench or socket to remove the sensor. Remove the sensor. Installation is the reverse of removal. Do not put any sort of Teflon or other tape on the threads of the sensor. Torque the sensor to 30 newton meters or 22 foot pounds and the vent line to the oil housing to 10 newton meters or seven and a half foot pounds. Check and top up the coolant as needed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.